Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. So today we're done with the deck, but now we have a couple of entry gates and fence panels to put up. So we're digging all the holes, we're moving roots, we're cutting through stuff. And it's been quite a challenge, but we're almost there. So Naziz digging some holes right now. We're gonna set some posts in concrete. And I don't know how far we're gonna get on these, uh, fe these fence panels today, but uh, it's made by Regal Ideas. So give them a follow, check them out. If you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. The inspector just came by, he signed off on our deck. We are legit, it's good to go. So now I can obtain final payment. So everything looks good on the deck. So now we're just focusing on these fence panels uh, and massive cleanup. So there you go. Just digging post hole footings for our we're using the Regal Ideas fence, which is cool. I've never done a Regal Ideas fence before. They make fences along with railing for decks, so the homeowner did not like her previous fence, which was kind of wobbly and the gate wasn't fit in and it was rotten out. So we're digging these post holes. Probably gonna set our post today, pour some concrete, and then maybe if it sits by the end of the day, we could start putting stuff on them. Otherwise, I'm thinking Monday, we'll put the rails on and finish the skate up and that'll be the last thing to do on this project. Put your end down. All right, so we have our Regal Ideas uh, privacy pool wall post, and I have a few strings set up. One's to keep all the bottoms in line with one another. And then I did another line at the top, so they're in line, and then I had to do one to elevation as well. Once this is set in place, if they're too tall, they're really hard to cut down accurately. So I wanted to put them to elevation as well. So I have an elevation string, a side string and then another side string down below just to keep everything in plumb. So now it's a nice straight line. So when we go to install all this stuff, our posts are gonna be locked and loaded and ready to go. So the concrete's too wet to work on today. So we're just gonna leave it where it is and then um, we'll leave it overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and start installing the side rails. Why are you doing that? Well, uh, so usually when we're done mixing concrete, we put water in the concrete mixer and then uh, find somewhere kind of indiscreet to clean it out and make sure there's no concrete left. But in this uh, wheelbarrow, I had maybe like a quarter of a bag of concrete left. And it was too much to just dump anywhere because it would solidify. So I figured I'd put it on this piece of plywood here, let it get solid and then that way I can take it haul it up in the truck and dump it. So concrete pancakes right 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yeah.